Hello and welcome to a really quick update. I wanted to um, give you some information. Uh, we've all sort of been sitting waiting for President Trump to do his uh, thing on Fox and then Fox pulled that and decided they would put a picture of um, Biden supposedly taking an injection that would, uh, you know, give him some sort of immunity. Whereas, you know, we think it was probably just vitamin B12 to keep his eyes open. So that was Fox's point. They wanted to uh, drop the president and put, put Biden in. And then I understand I didn't watch it. But Biden was going to talk about um, the, uh, the fighting around the Capitol building and how the president was um, guilty of that. So that's Fox's choice, very naughty. And I'm sure that that won't be forgotten. So then we went and watched uh, Mike Pompeo. And while everybody's attention was on Mike Pompeo, something else was happening. So first of all, um, it was very important that you saw Mike Pompeo, although what he talked about wasn't what the audience wanted to hear. They wanted to hear the flags were flying and the tanks were rolling. But what it showed you was that everything's calm in uh, the White House, that President Trump has not resigned and everything is OK. So that was the important message there that life is just going on as normal. And while the world was looking at that, quite rightly so, um, tweets were changing. Uh, they went down from 30 minutes to 10 minutes to five minutes. And do you remember that I'd been trying to say to you guys several times, it's not the content of these tweets it's the regularity between them. And they went down to five minutes and they just did a few at that five minute intervals and then they completely stopped. Now I want to tell you what that means. It means that embedded teams all over the planet, I say all over the planet, there'll be some countries that don't have any need of any activity, but in those areas that are hotspots, everyone has reported they are now in position. So everybody listening to that who's uh, a member of the team knows that they set their watches from that point. Every member of the team in different locations has reported that they are not just in place, but they're ready. They've got all the equipment, everything's ready. Um, within, within minutes of that, sealed envelopes were being opened and there are instructions for each team. Now, many of them will already know, but they won't know the ins and outs and sometimes you know, um, you you have to go with the written instructions because electronic instructions can be hacked or altered. So every member of the team now has uh, their goal. I can't say target; that's too militaristic. They have their goal um, and their and their objective is a better word. So I wanted to tell you that. Um, for many of you, it might be quite difficult to to accept or understand. But those of you who have followed me and have watched me know that I actually do speak the truth. And if I said to you that I've spent one and a half hours talking to the real Q, then that's exactly who I've been speaking to. And in fact, Becky was also on that call with me. Um, and that was um, uh, very, very supportive and helpful. And uh, what's been agreed is that I, uh, a couple of other people who I have been uh, involved with on the radio shows or interviews will be uh, invited to uh, take part in a uh, discussion and we can talk about how we've got to this position and what might be coming up. Uh, I won't be responsible for bringing that together, but I will be one of the participants in that uh, and that will happen, I hope, within the next few days. Uh, the situation is, of course, fluid. It's moving. Um, you know, we get the, the message that something's going to happen. And of course, then it changes and it doesn't happen or it's pushed back. That's just the nature of what we're dealing with. But I can tell you that uh, I don't appreciate fully that this movement, the Q movement, really began. We all know about Kennedy and the Q, Q movement starting with his murder, but I didn't realize that there were 200 generals who got together. Uh, and I thought it was much less than that. I didn't realize it was 200 uh, who then said, we have got to fight this evil 
And we can't do it in five years, we can't do it in 10 years, we can't even do it in 20 years. But we've got to start to fight back and we've got to play the long game. So President Kennedy did not die in vain. That death, rightly or wrongly, created a movement which is playing out the fruition now. And so I have been, uh, I didn't think I needed reassuring, <laughs> but I have been reassured, whether I wanted it or not, that um, it's very much going the way that uh, the good guys want. And it is very frustrating when you are sitting at home and you've got all or nearly all of your people you trust being turned off or deplatformed or cut off. And of course, you've got this wall of silence and abject lies from the media. And you think, well, you know, you begin to doubt yourself. And I'm here to say, don't doubt yourself. Um, you know, I never doubted it from the beginning, but that was because I'd seen things that, that, that most people haven't seen. And I understood some of the plan. I didn't know all of the plan, and I still don't know all of the plan. But I have some knowledge of some of the plan. Um, and the very fact that, you know, I have had this one and a half hour conversation, I'm deeply indebted to that individual. And you might think that, oh, I've seen Q on such and such a radio show, or I've seen Q on such. And I have to tell you that, that there are a number of people who are Q, but there's only one real Q. In other words, um, you don't put all your eggs in one basket, but the real Q, you don't see their face at all. Um, you just don't. And the, you, the real Q doesn't put themselves in the public eye. They can't afford to be caught on camera. They can't afford, you know, because the, the real cue is, is playing a role. And I fully understand that person's position. So um, it's good news in that uh, the Trump team and Trump himself are in no way uh, worried by the way the development is going. Um, and the object is that the, the bad guys <clears throat> have been so confident of victory for years and years, they got it their own way. They were used to buying people off, blackmailing them, threatening them. And they got to a point where they didn't believe that anything could stop them. And they believed that everything was theirs and that they should have the right to everything. And so they let the guard down and that's their undoing. And I can truthfully tell you that um, President Trump does have the backing of the United States military. And the reason that the deep state is going all out against Trump, and I will use Q's words to me tonight, they know that it's either him or them. If they do not succeed in preventing President Trump from having another term of office, they know they're finished. <clears throat> I didn't want to say they're dead, but they know they're finished. And when we talk about a peaceful transition, we are talking about a peaceful transition from Donald Trump to Donald Trump. That is the peaceful transition. And those of you who have listened to me, I've been going 11 years now, but at least for the last four or five years, I have said to you that the United States military will never have Biden as its commander in chief. You know, they go back to 1963. They all made an oath to save the Republic and they're not going to give up on you, the American people or us, you know, the people in, in the world that is so dependent on the United States. And yes, we do have an issue with Iran and we do have an issue with China. There's an issue with Russia. It's not as big, but there is an issue there. And these are key players. And, you know, I did that talk earlier on. Um, and we did talk about special advanced weapons being used. Um, and I did ask during my conversation and I very cheeky, really being a bit British and saying, you know, when, when, how? 
uh, and of course I knew that over, over an open connection I was never I don't have a scrambler here um, that was never going to get that information I have to go to an embassy for a scrambler and so it was a case of in the next few days to which I replied yeah but there's only a few left to the 20th and we both laughed but I can say to you that as of I don't know about half an hour or 40 minutes ago now that, that signal with the tweets going from 30 to 10 to 5 and stopping it's on the game is on and to start with it will be fairly covert as we move towards the 20th it will become more overt and yes ultimately mainstream media has got to come down and that is perhaps the first thing that the general public will see and understand and maybe the emergency broadcast coming over their mobile phones or their cell phones so you know the ordinary general public will have this in their face because they have to see it they have to learn and they have to understand what's happened uh, not long to go just be patient so president trump has not resigned there's all this hacking of, of websites etc etc he has not resigned um he is in texas uh with a military base <clears throat> And the, the, the person I spoke to, the real Q, is also in Texas. Of course, everyone who's anyone is in Texas. Uh, that is the place to be. It's the one place that didn't have Dominion voting machines. We should begin to understand uh, the Lone Star State. So don't be destabilized. The bad guys are very good at, at throwing stuff in, your, in our eyes and, and trying to make us think we've lost when we've won. That's the point. We've won. We just don't know it yet. That will be my slogan, I think. And we'll look back on this time and you'll say, well, that's what Simon said. We, we, we'd won, but we just didn't know it. Difficult times ahead, even harder than we've been through now. But I absolutely assure you that we will come out the other end. Um, you know, the, the people who have planned for this moment have been planning since the murder of JFK. And we did have a little chat Charlie Ward's favorite topic. We did have a little chat about the coming change in the monetary system, and it was confirmed to me that that is definitely on the cards. Absolutely understood that if you don't change the banking system, if you don't change the way that the money is lent to people, if you don't change the way that money is moved around and all the scams that are done with it, you don't actually change the system. I didn't need a lecture, but I took a lecture regarding, you know, the, the 1912 coming off the gold standard, uh, the sister ship to the Titanic going down, all of the key names. Um, it was a, a nice little bit to go back to school, really. But what it showed me was that it was very deeply rooted in this the Ameris American person deeply committed to the United States, to the people of the United States, and understood that uh, America has to go back on the gold standard. Is that exciting? Right, that's it. Um, we're all, I'm tired. You guys have got to be tired. Let's be physically tired, but let's not be emotionally exhausted because we're going to need more energy. It's not over yet. There's worse to come before it gets better. So just take a break but just keep fighting and don't ever stop believing. Don't ever stop believing. And once, you know, they get this little get together with us, <clears throat> I think the real cue will re obviously remain off. Um, you will not see their face. I don't even know if the voice will be disguised, but certainly we're going to have an opportunity to, to have that. And God willing, um, you know, this will get out and, um, you know, it will really support everyone who's good. All right, speak to you soon. Take care.